Alright, hello everyone, and welcome back to my Uncharted 3 playthrough. The cops are coming around because Cutter was stupid and didn't use a silencer. So we gotta get out of here. He's a bit on the claustrophobic side. And you need to see a therapist about that. And yellow means you can climb it. Always look for yellow. Wait, we can get around this way. Yeah, yeah, right. Or we could just use a little muscle. I got here quicker, just saying. Although it's not letting me drop. Yellow also means interactive. Wall's too high. I got it. Put your back into it, mate. We haven't got all bloody night. Come on, move your lazy asses. Yeah, two, three people pushing that would have gone a little bit quicker. Looks like the coast is clear. You should be more careful with your head, you know. <laughs> Evening, lads. All right, darling. <sighs> Looks like hell spit you two back out. Ah, uh, it was a thing of beauty, Chloe. I went off without a hitch. You're unusually quiet. What's up your bum? Oh, well, Charlie seemed to... Enjoy yourself a little bit too much for yeah, my taste. Uh, <laughs> ears are still big. Oh, for God's sake. Helps if you have something in between. <laughs> oh, it looks like I missed out on some fun. Yeah, you did, actually. It was very, very uh, cathartic. Yeah, that's funny. Do you have any trouble? <sighs> Easy peasy. And you're sure they didn't see you trailing them? Not a chance. So, which door Scary Poppins are hiding behind? <laughs> scary <laughs> Poppins. <laughs> they drove in ages ago, and it's been dark ever since. Think they're still in there? Well... I haven't taken my eyes off it. No one's gone in or out. Hmm. Think these are really necessary? I mean, it's not like they're expecting this. Don't underestimate these blokes. They're not messing about. Hey, we're just gonna sneak in and we sneak up. Just like that. Yeah, fair enough. But any trouble, you shoot first and ask questions later, all right? Man, I was sorely tempted to just pick up that briefcase back there and walk. Yeah, you got a lousy poker face, man. Hey, trust me, that's nothing compared to what we're on to. Yeah, well, at my age, a bird in the hand. Dude, didn't I tell you? Oh, please. Look, I just hope you're right about this. I, I hope so, too. Okay. So, we are going to start getting into actual combat soon. So that's when I start dying a lot, I bet. Nah, we don't need to check. We know where to go. And make sure to push X there, otherwise you will die. Found that out the hard way. Scare all the birds away. Look at the city. It's a big city. Where are we again? We're in London, aren't we? Is London that big? I don't know. Never been outside of North America. I've been to Mexico and Canada though, so that's good I guess. Suspicious. There's some treasure back there that you could pick up if you uh, didn't go all the way down. It's like up on Where the hell did they go? that platform right there. But I didn't feel like going for it. Let's go ahead and let our peeps in. Around. You were here, all right. 
Alright, luckily... I know what I'm looking for. You have to... It's annoying because you have to go in a certain order. You have to first look at the tire tracks. And then... Step on the pressure plates right there. There we go. Hey, check this out. I think you have to get up to this one first. Yeah. Interesting little puzzle there. And now, secret tunnels. Illuminati. Only one way to find out. We'll track the car. You head back to the van. We'll try and stay in radio contact. I'll let you know when we get through to the other side. Maybe the Freemasons. Wherever the hell that is. Just be ready for anything. Something. Might be a quick exit. No doubt. She's the best driver in the business, you know. So I've heard. Alright, let's go. A lot of people. You know, there are underground tunnels and like parking garages that have sub sub levels. It's not that uncommon. Uh, tunnels like this, however, very uncommon. Oh yeah, forgot. Uh, square does not reload in this game. It's hard to get used to. Of course, Cutter's going to have trouble with it again. Going as fast as I can. Calm down. And combat is going to start right here. There we go. I think someone else drops down. Ah! Yeah, if you want to die at any at any point in time, I may be missing, but whatever. It would be nice if they just would step in front of my bullets. Okay. Yeah, that was just three people. That's easy stuff. But later on in this level, it gets a little bit difficult. So up there is a thing. I forget how to get to it though. Do you do this? And then maybe No, that's not gonna work. Climb up this. That's not gonna work either. How do you get up? I forget. I forget how to do it. Can I? Yeah, get back up here. There's a tra Oh, do I do? Can I do this? 
No. How do I get up there? So you have to get to that. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, I'm seeing it now. I feel silly. No, up. Up to your left. There we go. And it is a strange relic, which, for those of you who oh, played it, it is from Jack and Daxter, which I just actually bought the first one uh, earlier this year. It's kind of interesting. Before this year, before 2013, I had only played from Naughty Dog the three original Crash Bandicoots plus Crash Team Res uh, Racing. And then this year, bought The Last of Us, got this from... PS Plus and bought Jack and Daxter, so I've now played every single franchise they have. Not every single game, I haven't played the other Jack and Daxter games or the other Uncharted games, but I have tried every franchise. I think they're close enough. That did not... Yeah, thanks for that, Sully. I, I know. You don't have to tell me things I already know. You want to climb up or something? Thank you. Here it comes. I'm running out of bullets. I don't like that. It's like there's some sort of gate up there. Can't get to that ladder right there. Yellow. Always look for yellow. As the universal indicator in this game. We need both people to do it at the same time. Go. Wasn't too difficult. Okay, Charlie. Come on. And there's treasure over there as well. Don't feel like getting it, so I'm not going to. But for those of you looking for treasures, there's one right there. Oops. Oh, is there a barrier here that's blocking it? Oh, nope, nope, okay. I just want to... Take it off. I can be easily amused by these things. Alright. Uh, where are we now? There are people below us, it looks like. Oh, that's a mouse. <laughs> or a rat. Either way, not a person. How far underground are we by this point? Pretty deep. Charlie, who the hell are we dealing with here? Look at the iron work. Um this does not scream Victorian. Maybe we can get through here. Nope. Wait. It's a counterweight up there. Looks like it's stuck. One of us should climb up there and see if they can dislodge it. Good idea. Yes, sir. Crap. It's always Nathan. He's the the, the monkey of the bunch. He climbs everything. Okay, get out of my way, Sully. Always look for Okay. Apparently, can't jump from there. Jump sideways. It's kind of annoying. Like right here, see, I'm jumping sideways, so how come sometimes I can't do that? Oh. Did not actually mean to do that. Luckily, that was there. Yeah, get that pipe out of there. There we go. Work. 
you guys want to lift it higher, maybe I can get down. Why is that door so thick? Ooh, better way for us to go. Up in the rafters. And there are people. They didn't hear that. I cannot use my gun right now. This matter. Sully and Cutter take care of these guys pretty easily. So they drove all the way down here. How do they drive all the way down here? Like we had to, like, oh. Uh, bad aim on my part. Okay, let's jump forward. There you go. Yeah, we had to, like, go on foot a lot of the way, so how... There were some doors we went through that there's no way a car could have made it through there. Knocked out. Or maybe even dead, actually. I heard a crunch there. Well, I don't want that. Well, they would switch out from my silence pistol. I want to keep that. Also, it wouldn't let me pick it up, so there's that. Totally didn't see us running right in front of this opening. Ow, man, that always makes me grimace. Looks painful just taking that wall to the head like that at a very high rate of speed. Looks like Tudor, 16th century. Let's not be stupid about this. this way. I would have gone through the door. Hey, over here. No, 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 seriously. Who are these people? I'm not interested in your excuses. He was a loose cannon, and you should have known. Yes, it is regrettable, but not regrettable. Sloppy. <laughs> she still thinks that he was just crazy, not against them. Four hundred years of searching. She's about to find out the truth. Drake's secret will be revealed. What is this? It's a forgery. What? That's not possible. I verified it myself. This isn't a ring. Really? I held it in my hands. I saw him put it around his neck. This doesn't make sense. We've been duped. Cut out. Uh-huh. You men stand guard and stay alert. We may have been followed. You, come with us. Find them and bring me that ring. I don't care how you get it. Yeah, luckily, these early levels are not very combat intensive, so... It's easy to get to this point. And this part, also not very difficult. 
there are parts coming up that will begin to get difficult, though. And you're dead. Or knocked out. You're definitely knocked out. There was no neck crunch. Alright. There you go. Right. There you go. Wait, what? Look at all this stuff. It's weird. We haven't got much time here. It's a book, mate. There's a lot of them in here. It's a library. It's not just any book, wise ass. It belonged to T. E. Lawrence. You know, Lawrence of Arabia. Yes, 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 I know. Yes. This was mailed from Dorset on the day of his motorcycle accident. May 13th, 1935. They must have killed him once they got their hands on it. They? Yeah, they, they, them, whoever these people are. Oh, what a lot of rubbish. It was an accident. Witnesses saw a black car run him off the road. Guys. Oh, oh, oh so it was like a big cover-up. Maybe. Nate. What? That thing that you have been waiting 20 years for? That makes sense. Huh. What is it? Uh, it's long hidden. What? Sh sh no shit long hidden. Are you kidding me? No offense, mate, but your ancestor was a right arsehole. <laughs> it's an anagram. Golden hind. The golden hind. Drink shit. Yes. It's a clue. Gotta be something hidden in this room. All right, spread out. See what you can find. Luckily, I know exactly what I'm looking for. We want to get up. The golden hide. Could it be a model? Maybe a painting. Hey, where is it? Oh, right there. Okay. It's gotta be. So you gotta get up here. Oops. here and make the long jump oh, apparently you have to jump up to there oh shit it's a trap they're here take cover uh how did i miss oh uh, that's that probably hurt we found the map. It's always a map. I wonder if someone could possibly make a an adventure treasure movie or game and have it not include some sort of secret map. That would be impressive. I want to see that movie. Ah, this... Um. Huh, how do I do this? Uh. Okay, well that worked out fairly well. Oops, I did not keep pushing square. I thought he was already dead. Yeah, let's get all the ammo. There we go. Heal up. And going. So this is where the game starts to first actually get difficult. Oh! Not really with these guys. But once you get out into the open... My god, how many bullets does it take to kill you? Uh, 
right here. There are going to be a lot of guys here. Oops, that was a bad shot. Doesn't help that I suck. Ah. What are you doing, Cutter? Get out of the open. Oh my god, okay. Uh, I took out one of the guys with the lasers. Apparently there's someone to my left. Don't know why Sole and Cutter aren't covering the, the flanking routes. Let's get right here. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't know if I hit anybody there. Ha! Gotcha. Okay. That took a lot of bullets. Keep shooting behind him. I'm not doing good here. Where did that guy go? Ooh, right in the head. Hold on. Yeah. Oh, this is awful. I did not look good here. Shooting out all around these guys and actually hitting them. All right. Uh, okay. You can die. Most painful death. Oh whoa! Wait, wait, wait. Get that guy. Yeah. Good job, Sully. I want this gun and hide. See, I don't want to go in here because people start getting on top of the trains. They're hard to shoot. See, oh god, this is bad. This is see, they're 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 flanking me. See, why can't it trigger before I get in the room? <sighs> Alright. Wait, I don't have the... Oh, you son of a bitch! You son of a bitch, game. You took my gun away. What the hell is that? I can't get it back. There's... Oh. Whatever. So let's run to the room, trigger the people, and then run right back out. Okay, you are triggered, I'm assuming. Yep, okay. Let's make sure to get the guys on the train. Okay, you can die after two shots, please. Not the six. Man, why is the sensitivity, like, so high when... And the cover shooting. Oops. Okay. Go time. Yes, go time. Hey, thanks for the gun. you doing? Yep, I saw that one coming. Can't trick me. I know all your moves before you make them. Good ammo. Why is there no Cal 7 ammo? I'm 
afraid if I die here, how far back it would send me. Oh my god. And this is one of the easier parts of the game. Oh, okay. Don't do that. Why would you stick your head up, Nathan? Don't do that. You get shot in the head. Okay, that's one less guy to worry about. Each kill is big. Wow, don't know how you're not dead. I took my chances on that one. Got lucky. I think everyone's dead. I don't know if there'll be more coming through, though. Doesn't look like it. Cal 7 ammo? Yeah, there we go. I didn't forget you guys. I remember the last time I played this. I think those guys have killed me before. Reload the gun. Is that it? Well, how can I resist this? Oh! Did not mean to roll out into the open like that. I was trying to get behind cover. Um, no ammo from any of these guys? Ooh, this will help. I like it. Anybody gets close to me, they are... Okay, once again... Get behind the cover. These guys are too far away, I think. I don't know, we'll see how this works. Oh, I hit him. I'm trying to hit them both, it's not really working. Ah, he's dead. Well, I'm just going to sit here for a while. See, the good thing about this particular combat situation is that these guys will never charge you. So that makes it easy. There are situations later in the game where people will absolutely charge you, and it makes it very, very difficult. Take that back. So I only had one shell left with the shotgun. can take a lot of bullets. Oh no, they're gonna flank us guys, they're gonna flank us! Oh god. Oh, yep. Well, I tried to tell my people, but they, of course, can't actually hear me. It's kind of frustrating though that they're not smart enough to see that kind of thing happening. Also sucks that I'm trying to run away from this cover to get to the train cover. Uh, I get shot up like crazy. Ha! Didn't work that time, guys. Oops. Keep doing that. Who's left? Just this guy? Nope, not just that guy. Now it's just that guy. Oh, nope, not just that guy. Ah, uh, just that guy. 
How are you not dead yet? Ooh, let's take this back. I think that's the last difficult part of this mission. I think we're pretty much good from here on out. There's still some people you have to kill, but it's not... Oh, God. If you get behind the cover... Okay. I wish I had a grenade. Okay. I think there are grenades you can't find, at least on the easier difficulties. I don't know if they take those away on this level. People shooting behind me. But you can just do this, and I think. Nope, you have to kill the people. You have to kill the people. Nope, that did not work. That guy was smarter, he could have shot that and killed me. Luckily. AI, not very smart. Shot. So then the guy says, Well, you better tickle mine too, because now I got to catch the goddamn thing. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. Do a job. Well done. Yeah. Are you going to join us, darling? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the map proves it. Drake didn't screw around in the East Indies for six months. He sailed straight through and headed to Arabia. Right. But here's where it gets interesting. You see this, Mark? This is John D's signature. Who the hell's John D? John D? One of Queen Elizabeth's closest advisors. Everybody knows that. Yeah, yeah. He was a great <laughs> mathematician and navigator. Way ahead of his time, he's probably the one who invented that. Seriously, into the occult. I mean, like a really creepy dog. Yeah, see, he signed all his letters to the Queen with this symbol, meaning he was her eyes. The original 007, you see, look, 007. Not really that relevant. So it was John Dee who sent Drake to Arabia. Yeah, it looks that way. Dee and Elizabeth. And Walsh. Great, but what for? <laughs> That's the million dollar question, isn't it? And this is where T.E. Lawrence comes in. See, before Lawrence became Lawrence of Arabia, great film. He was an archaeologist. And even when he was just a kid, he was obsessed with history, everything to do with knights and crusades. And he traveled all over, documenting every crusader site he could find. It, it's all in here. All right, you've lost me completely, kid. What the hell has this got to do with Drake? I'm getting to that. See, after the war, Lawrence said that if he were ever to go back to Arabia, it would be to search for this place he called the Atlantis of the Sands. Now, the legend crops up over and over again under different names. Ubar, Aram of the Pillars, the City of Brass. But the story is always the same. Oh, city of immeasurable wealth, destroyed by God for its arrogance, swallowed forever in the sands of the Rubalkali Desert. Right here. Well, I like the immeasurable wealth part, anyway. And you think this is what Elizabeth and Dee sent Drake after? Oh, yeah. But more importantly, that's what Marlowe was after. So, wait, if Drake was on a mission from the Queen to find this place, why all the secrecy? I mean, it looks like he went to a lot of trouble to hide whatever he found, even from Her Majesty. I don't know. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, what was that? No, hang on a second, because if you recall, the last time we went halfway around the world searching for a lost city, things got more than a little dicey. Yeah, but this time we have the upper hand. I mean, look, Drake only had half the clues. Lawrence only had half. We have both. And Marlowe has nothing. Small problem. The Rubalkali Desert, 600 miles across. 
the Bedouin go around the damn thing. And even if we knew where it was, which we don't, we would die trying to find Just, it. Just hold on. You see these symbols here? Yeah. Looks like Sabian script. script. Right. But the Crusaders were searching for the same lost city a thousand years ago. But out of all the sites Lawrence documented, only two are marked with these symbols. One in Syria, the other in France. No, you two are going to Syria. We're heading to France. Look, we track down these clues. We find Lawrence's lost city. I'm sure of it. Oh, no, no. How are we going to get across 600 miles of impossible wasteland? Huh. It's in the middle of the desert. So technically, it'd be about 300 miles. Wow. <sighs> Look, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We burn that bridge when we get to it, eh? Exactly. What do you say? What the hell? Let's do it. <laughs> Eastern France. Into the line, I guess. Don't. Didn't know Eastern France was so jungly. jungle in the middle of France. <laughs> well, we're definitely headed in the right direction. Chateau should be this way. Completely forgot that he had said that, actually. Not too far. Come on. Yeah. Maybe he was in my subconscious mind. Not too far? <laughs> With you, I never know if that means a quarter mile or twenty. Like that time you got us lost in Peru? Oh, you really want to bring up Peru? <laughs> you are not still holding that over. I was 15, Sully. Should have known when I met you that I'd be in prison within a year. <laughs> you were headed that way all on your own, if you recall. <laughs> Besides, I got you out, didn't I? I always get you out. Alright, well, now would be a good time to stop, so I want to thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time.